So, battle royales. They've been around for relatively more than I'd have expected them to be. They're a game type, a game genre which has really taken off these past few years. We got Fortnite, PUBG, Apex Legends, H1Z1, the new Hyperscape, among many others. Now, I have my own opinions about these ones. Because what I call them is game killers. Now, what do I mean by that? Why would they have a negative effect? They're just a game type, right? Well, we're gonna get into that into this video, so stick around and you'll find out what I mean by that. So, battle royales are killing gaming, and why, you, you may ask, well, let me tell you. Battle royales are a trend, and what do trends do? They kill creativity. Let me explain. Let's say you're a game dev, right? And you're working on your game, you've been working on it for so long, and you're waiting for the day that you're gonna finish it and release it. Then battle royales peak in creativity. You have two choices. You can either release your game and know the fact that people aren't gonna be interested in it because it's not the trend going on right now. Or you could make your own battle royale. And that is effectively what happened. Game devs stopped thinking about what they were gonna make. They killed their creativity just to be like, you know what, follow the trend, it's, it's not even worth it. And we got this plethora of battle royales. And I'm not just talking a game that is just a battle royale. I'm talking games that integrated into them a battle royale game mode. Take Warface, for example. Games are just really following this trend. We started off with PUBG, the vanilla experience. Then we got H1Z1, maybe it was before that, but doesn't matter. Fortnite was, oh, I hate that game so much, but we're not gonna talk about that today. Uh, Apex Legends was like, okay, I'm gonna add an own twist to it and make it class-based. Then Hyperscape was like, I'm gonna do a little twist of my own. And I can hear the 14-year-olds shouting, but you forgot Warzone! I didn't forget Warzone. Warzone was just Call of Duty being like, you know what, we wanna be really relevant again, so let's make a battle royale. And they kind of aced that. But we're not, like, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just preface what I'm about to say with the following. I do enjoy the battle royales. PUBG, when I first played it, was really fucking fun. It was really fucking fun. Same goes with, uh, with, with uh, Apex Legends. I played Apex Legends. I still occasionally play Apex Legends. It's a fun experience when you have your friends to play with. Fortnite, I never, pl I never enjoyed playing, and I'm never gonna enjoy playing. That's another topic. You know, th they're fun generally. When you have a group of friends, it's fun. But that doesn't say a lot because if you have a group of friends, anything can be fun. But still, they are enjoying experience, enjoyable experiences. Now, I think, and I can already hear the 14 year olds being like, No, Battle Royales are the best thing ever made. You fuck, fuck off, Timmy. Go, your mother's calling you. Go, are, you're not so even supposed to be watching this. This isn't for kids. Fuck off. But no, like I think that the battle royales should die. I think that they should die off because we've oversaturated the idea at this point. We start off with the vanilla games and we got a bunch of vanilla, ga vanilla games. Then people were like, we're gonna add our own twist to it. And then twists and twists and twists and you just can't twist it anymore. It's done, it's fucked. You milked it dry. Any idea at this point when people try to make, it's just gonna feel like, well, we've kind of been here before. That's how I felt about Hyperscape. Hyperscape should it have been released earlier, let's say before Apex Legends and Warzone, it might have picked up a bit more and I may, it may have liked it more than I do right now. But the fact is the idea is just oversaturated to the point where no matter what twist you add to the idea, it's just gonna, it's, it's not gonna be good. Take for example the Darwin Project, okay? It's sort of a battle royale type of game. Darwin Project project seemed pretty interesting and I enjoyed it for a short while, but then I just got bored of it really quickly. And by really quickly, I mean I played it for two days and then deleted it from my PlayStation because the idea is oversaturated. My opinion is that no matter what twist people add, it's just, it's done, it's done. You've milked the idea dry at this point. You're gonna enjoy the game for like a bit, but then it's just gonna be boring. We've, we've fucked the idea so much that it's just not worth it anymore. Move on. Be creative. The point of gaming is pushing your creativity forward. Adding these ideas which you want to make and popping them to the world. Following a trend just kills that. It stops the progression. So in my opinion, just... We're done with Battle Royales. But, you know, we all have our own opinions. So, all in all, I don't think anyone's gonna agree with me at this point, but... 
Battle Royales, we're, we're done with them. They're a trend and I think it needs to just pass on by. We're done with it, that's my opinion. But yeah, I think we should just kill them off because it's... We've milked the idea dry. But we all have our own opinions. Leave your opinion down in the comments below. I'd love to dis discuss this topic with you guys. And I'll see what you guys have to say. Thank you for listening to what I had to say. Leave a like if you enjoyed. A subscribe if you enjoyed my content. Your Twitter and Discord are in the description as always. And I will see you guys in the next video. As always, stay safe. Peace.